Uh, this is my ICOM 703, tuned to 5025 kHz, uh, that's Radio Rebelde in Cuba. Uh, I'm listening on a 20 meter long wire outside, and as you can see, I'm completely swamped by noise. S20, sometimes S30 of noise. Just have a listen to this racket. Okay, the noise at this location, the local new noise, was uh, so bad it was destroying my hobby really. Um, and so eventually I decided to build a loop antenna. Um, this is the DX394 receiver. Listening to the same frequency with that loop. And as you can see, most of that noise has gone. And the signal perfectly receivable. Instead of having S20 to, sorry, plus 20 to plus 40 dB of noise over 9, we've got uh, a nice quiet noise floor with the signal jumping between about S1 and S3 on the DX394. I'm going to show you the loop antenna in just a second, but just enjoy this lovely Cuban music. Okay, I'm going to pan over my shack now and show you the loop. It's a small 45 centimetre homemade loop. It costs uh, about a pound, uh, one, one or two pound to build. It's just 45 centimetres of wire um, coupled to the radio inductively by a little coupling loop made of coax and uh, tuned with a couple of vintage uh, radio capacitors given to me by a good friend at the radio club. Uh, but they're easily easy to come by on eBay and you can easily build this loop very cheaply and as you can see if I if I turn it into the direction of the noise or away from the null yeah, the noise is back again It's uh, extremely fine, uh, fine directivity. Just finding that sweet spot. And there we go. Signal perfectly listenable to. And my hobby has been saved thanks to these small, uh, these small loops. Uh, so if you're considering uh, giving up the hobby because of noise, uh, just have a look on Google or contact me um, and uh, get yourself a little homebrew loop. Thanks for watching the video.